I wish I knew. Welcome back to My Husband is My Best Friend. Kurt Franklin speaks on some of the homeowner's condition after Hurricane Milton. So, hey, it is 11.30 on the East Coast. I'm a little tired, a little sleepy. So, there's no telling what I'm about to say. There's no telling how how, how real and honest I'm going to be because I'm a little pooped. I'm a little emotional. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. I'm a little emotional. So, and because I'm going live, I'm not going to be able to erase this. It's going to be what it is. All right, so, I have to be honest with you. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. I think that we got to reconsider this goal of making everything so pretty and wrapped in this pretty bow. Every time somebody is a Christian, they want to try to talk in ways where, you know, God did this. It's like this perfection of always wanting to have the answer and the scripture and the biblical reference for every little detail in life is really beginning to piss me off. It's really beginning to be very frustrating because it's like we want to quote and represent the things of faith that are comfortable for us. But again, when you're talking about a book that's full of liars, adulterers, hungers, murderers, these, like nobody in the Bible was pretty. Nobody in the Bible had this clean, pretty life. But in real time, y'all keep wanting to make everything so pretty and so packaged well that it's like, if your way was working, Christianity in America would be growing. There would be an increase. But it's like you see the numbers. You see the numbers of people that don't believe. You see the numbers of people that are leaving. But y'all still want to keep holding on to the fact that y'all are y'all are y'all are like experts in the in the text and the Aramaic and the Greek and the Hebrew instead of realizing that everything in Christianity is not going to be wrapped in a perfect bowl. Life is not fair. And life is not easy. It was not easy in the text. It ain't easy now. I'm in Orlando. It's my, I'm, I'm not in Florida. And these people have been hit with all of these storms. Folk going through a lot of bull with the government. Insurance companies are leaving them without the houses getting fixed. And y'all still want to throw scriptures at people. Well, here's a scripture that I want to throw at you. The Bible says rejoice with those that rejoice and mourn with those that mourn. Y'all are so pretty wanting to wrap everything in a perfect bowl that you don't even give yourself a chance to feel the pain that people go through. Y'all want stuff. You, you want to throw scriptures and stuff so quickly that you just don't even give people the opportunity to mourn, to hurt. Hurt with people. Why don't y'all want to hurt with people? Why don't y'all want to feel the agony of what our species goes through as humans? Folk are going through, bro. And y'all want to be so quick to just keep throwing all of these bibliocentric ideals at people instead of going, man, I can't even imagine how that mama feels having to bury her third child. Bro, y'all gotta, y'all, y'all gotta help me. Y'all gotta help me. 
Stop trying to make Christianity so perfect and pretty and let it be ugly when it's time to be ugly. Job's life was ugly. Job's life was ugly. Paul's life in prison was ugly. <laughs> David's baby dying after his adulterous relationship with Bathsheba, that was Bathsheba, that was ugly. It's ugly. It's ugly. The storms of life are ugly. And life ain't fair. And God does not always make sense. That's the truth. But y'all want to throw y'all want to throw scriptures at that. Yeah, but you man, let let it breathe. Let it breathe. Don't be so quick to throw script. Let it breathe. Yes, life is unfair. And God does not always make sense. Period. Period. Let life hurt when it needs to hurt. That don't make your faith less. That don't make Christianity weak. It makes it real. So I was on one tonight. I'm sorry. Coming to Florida, seeing people not being able to pay for their houses, folk trying to figure out how they're gonna make it. These hurricanes keep in this state. And for me, man, it just, you know, I, I I'm you know, and I know some of y'all gonna be mad, I say off well, you've heard me say worse. So it's just frustrating to me that I'm part of a community that wants everything to be pretty. Life ain't pretty. For millions of people. And y'all got to get in the dirt and accept that. That your faith don't make everything pretty for everybody. Even though our faith is the anchor. It don't make the water that it's in pretty. Okay. That's it. I ain't going to say nothing else. Y'all go listen to that new uh bye. Thanks for tuning in to my husband is my best friend.